The concept of stages in the twin flame journey is somewhat misnomer. We employ the term stages for the sake of providing some structure to describe the experience. While you may encounter various descriptions of these stages online, in my personal experience and understanding, these stages serve as a loose framework to grasp this phenomenon. It's important to recognize that the actual journey is not bound by these stages. And if you choose to view your experience through the lens of stages, they do not follow a strict linear progression. Any stage can follow another, depending on your journey, as each person's path is unique, and a particular stage can repeat multiple times, until you glean the intended lessons. Many online articles commonly depict bubble love as the initial stage, but this is not universally true. In my case, my journey commenced directly with separation, followed by a crisis. Afterward, we experienced separation and crisis again, even after I surrendered. Subsequently, we encountered the stage referred to as bubble love only to return to separation once more. Initially, I mistakenly believed that these stages were sequential. So I anticipated that illumination would naturally follow surrender, leading to eventual union. However, this understanding proved to be flawed, as we once again found ourselves in separation, which, notably, was a substantial period during which much of our ascension occurred, following the illumination. It was during this phase that I truly grasped that the concept of stages was merely a descriptive term and did not adhere to a rigid, linear sequence. These stages will continue to reoccur until we have absorbed the intended insights. This progression varies from case to case, highlighting the absence of a fixed order for these stages and the uniqueness of each individual's journey. Consequently, there is no standard timeline for the duration of each stage, as they persist until their underlying purpose is fulfilled.